to ask you for something. Not for me, but for Mummy. Mummy wants a new hover because she's got lots of work to do. You'll help me choose one, won't you? Of course. Why, that's the wonderful hoover matic your mummy's always wanted. Three lovely cleaners for versatile around the house cleaning. And the polisher scrubber to get floors sparkling. And this extra special iron. Don't forget, Father Christmas a hoover for mummy. Hello everyone and welcome to my annual Christmas Spectacular. Well, to be honest, it's not really going to be a Christmas Spectacular this year. What with the cost of living, I've nothing to unwrap on my Christmas Day video. So this is as Christmassy as it gets. I've got a Christmas jumper on, I'm wearing some Christmas socks and I'm stood next to my Christmas tree. So that's about as Christmassy as this year's Christmas special gets. If you want to see more Christmassy things, I have been doing an Advent series on my other channel that hardly anybody watches. So um, if you want to see me Advent calendaring, if that's a term, it's nearly over the series, but it was pretty fun. And you can also see a video of me assembling a gingerbread house, uh, which went very pear-shaped, <laughs> very Pete Tong, if you get the reference. Okay, well, the fire is warming my backside. I'm going to fetch a vacuum cleaner in and we're gonna have a look at it. How about that? Here it is. Can you believe somebody posted a vacuum cleaner to me in a couple of black bin bags? It has happened. It has, believe it or not, it has happened in the past and obviously it didn't end very well for those particular cleaners. This wasn't actually posted. Uh, this was a local collection, local pickup. I bought it on eBay. I was quite close. So um, I placed a bid and I went around uh, to the person's house yesterday evening to collect it and um, rang the doorbell and noticed this was outside. I had a quick feel. I thought, I think that's what I want. So, because there was no answer, I took it and this is it. So, uh, without any further ado, let's reveal, well, you know what it is. You've seen the, you've seen the thumbnail, but let's reveal it anyway. Oh, well, that was easy. I'll use those bin bags, actually. It's another Hoover Junior Deluxe. And uh, it will need retro brighting next year in the summer because it has gone a little bit yellow. But so far, that doesn't look too bad at all. Well, before I sully my hands on it and show you it in a bit more detail, I'm just going to give it a very brief wipe over. Well, here it is, the Hoover Junior Deluxe. Given a route of entry, wipe over, a little bit of tea cut, and a bit of auto glim car polish. Now, I knew this machine had yellowed, but apart from the yellowing, which can be fixed, it's in very, very good condition. A couple of tiny nicks here and there, but no deep scratches. I'm very, very happy with this very happy indeed we'll look at it closer obviously i've not switched on yet although i've polished the exterior i've not opened the bag compartment and i've not looked underneath but judging by the overall condition of the machine itself i'm hoping that the motor will sound good we can but hope we can pray for a christmas miracle I have shown you a Hoover Junior Deluxe on my channel before, but it's a later version than this in the yellow or orange and black colour scheme, which was the final version, as far as I know, that Hoover launched. This colour, which uh, is green, I think it was just called green and ivory, I believe was the first colour scheme. I do have a Hoover Starlight as well, which is in sunburst orange, I think it is, an orange front. Uh, with a headlight 
I haven't actually shown you that I don't think on my channel and I've also got you have briefly seen a quite a rare coffee coloured starlight which arrived with broken wheels well it's not just the wheels that were broken it was part of the base the chassis so this is just so so 70s and it's especially at Christmas time a lot of people feel nostalgic about times past and one day there'll be people out there who feel nostalgic about a shark navigator or some modern cordless thing but um, I'm feeling very nostalgic for this very modern looking cleaner a bit of a different style because until this machine it was basically the junior and senior uprights with the soft bag they did do, do the convertible obviously that was the first clean air upright known as the dilematic in the USA so that was quite modern but this was a way of this really predates the turbo power and despite its looks it is a dirty fan cleaner it looks like a clean fan vacuum with its sleek base modern boxed in dust bag but underneath it is a dirty fan machine looking at the base we've got the hoover roundel in mint condition the only real damage to this cleaner is mainly on this side there are a few slight gouges and a little bit of gouging at the front there but I can make that look even better but I won't eliminate it entirely but the rest of the bodywork is amazing yes it's yellowed but it's in very good condition in the middle here we have the Hoover height right control at the moment it's set on its highest pile level uh, but you can adjust it obviously tilt the machine back and then you can turn the dial right down to its lowest pile setting there for short pile carpets carpet tiles and then you've got sort of normal pile medium pile and then long pile carpet when I initially switch this on I think I'll start it on long pile because it is a soft plush pile carpet you'll see the original color of this cleaner when I lower the handle and to lower the handle there is a handle release lever here foot operated switch so if I lower it we can see very clearly there you go you can see the stark contrast between the original it's not a brilliant white it's sort of well ivory Hoover called it so it's not brilliant white um, but it is it is a sort of a creamy but nothing like you can see the line very distinct line this here would have also been white this is a blanking piece that covers the dirt searcher headlight that would have been featured on the starlight machine which was the the first cleaner of this type and more deluxe basically the same as the junior deluxe but it had the headlight and where this machine has junior deluxe that would have been a red lens bag check indicator that uh, operated using the light of the headlight and it would glow red or as the bag filled up so that's the base of the machine well the bottom half I've not shown underneath yet now on the back we can see something that you don't often see on cleaners of this age saying that though I think most of the vacuums I've got with this type of lower core torque are intact it tended to be on the earlier turbo powers they broke very easily now when this goes into storage it's not going to be left with a cable wound round it's going to be flat because I don't want to damage this because you can't obviously you can't buy a replacement lower cord hook for a machine of this age this is the upper cord hook which you can turn down to release the cable in one go and with the cable off the machine I can now close the lower cable hook and this one actually still has a bit of spring in it which again is pretty unusual a lot of them they lose the springiness there is a little metal piece in there I believe that gives you that spring and it holds it flat 
Just here at the top of the bag housing is the on off switch. I can't recall which is on and which is off, but we'll soon find out when I plug in the cleaner. And just here is the bag door release button. So you press that and the bag door will open, giving you access to the disposable paper dust bag. The handle itself is a painted metal topped off with the colour coordinated hand grip that matches the colour of the bag door. At the top of the bag door is the carry handle, but as this machine ages, I wouldn't necessarily recommend lifting it from the handle. I would support it at the base and hold the top as well when carrying this up and down stairs because as plastic ages, and this is old plastic, can get brittle. And if anything snaps on the bag door, finding a replacement would be pretty much impossible. Not 100% impossible but 99.9% .9 impossible to get a new bag door, especially one in, in this condition. I mean, you can see the shine on it after one tea cutting and a couple of coats of polish. It's looking very good. And I love the font they used in the 70s for the Hoover branding here at the top of the bag door. The silver is a bit worn off, but it's still in pretty good shape. Okie dokie, let's open the bag door. This is the first time I've looked at it myself see what's inside well we do have a dust bag and you can see that the bag door doesn't flop down there is just here at the bottom a little rubber flexible piece that just stops the bag door from just crashing down onto the machine I wonder if it's a genuine bag could be it is it's a genuine bag with some genuine old dirt in it but look at that ah now are we missing or is this it's non-reusable hmm i always thought these were reusable bags but there's it's not been folded over normally i'd expect to see a plastic or metal clip but perhaps i do have some genuine hoover bags now these say model u2002 on this isn't a u2002 um, I think that could be the model for the Starlight, actually. But yeah, that's pretty full. But surprisingly intact, there isn't a hole in it and, and there's nothing living in it as far as I can see. There's a bit of dust inside the bag compartment, but it's not terrible. So this looks like a cleaner that's been either well looked after or not used very much before being put away in the loft or something and the original owner bought something else. One, one never knows the history of a cleaner unless you've owned it from new. So here's the bag fill tube. I believe that comes off. There's a single, yes, yeah, it's a single screw just under there. I don't know if you can quite see it. So you remove that and then this, this will come out. But yes, not too bad at all. I'll put the original bag back in because I haven't got any other bags to hand at the moment. But I definitely do have some original bags and possibly I think the Hoover H18 bags may fit those fleece ones but we'll but just for the initial turn on we'll leave it as it is and on the Junior Deluxe and Starlight the rating sticker is just here on the inside of the bag door this is Hoover model U2068, 240 volts, 50 hertz, 350 watts. It's got the double insulated symbol, which means it doesn't have to be earthed. It's approved by the British Electrotechnicals Approvals Board. And the serial number is U2068 so this dates U2068 the model followed by seven so that denotes the year so we know it's a 70s cleaner so this is from 1977 and the 06 I can't recall I think that could be week six or it could be month six I always forget which it is is it the week or month but at least we know this dates from 1977 the Queen's Silver Jubilee year trademarks of Hoover Limited made by Hoover Limited Great Britain. Here's the underside of the Hoover Junior Deluxe. We've got two wheels towards the front and those are the wheels that will move up and down as you turn the height right control and at the back 
two smaller wheels. Everything looks very good under here. Again, it looks like this cleaner has had light use. What happened with my coffee colored Starlight? Unfortunately, if the, if the rear wheel had been broken, that would be fine. I could have replaced that. It might be the same as a Hoover Junior wheel. It was actually this part of the chassis, the, the base of the machine that had broken. I've still got it. I don't know where, but I know I still have it somewhere. Needs a mains cable on it as well. But at some stage, I will get round to looking at all these cleaners, hopefully. So there is a cover plate here, but that doesn't cover the motor. The motor's sealed away inside here, which makes people think it's a clean fan motor, but no, it isn't. Um, I believe, yes, we can get access to the belt. No screwdriver needed. You can just use your hand, use your fingers. There's two metal clips. And then we can take the metal base plate off. And I have to be careful with this because it's probably not been off for a long time. Let's just carefully move the machine back. It, there, we, there we go. So that's the the base plate, a little bit of fluff there. We can just remove that. Just, I'll just tap it out of shot. So there you go, metal base plate, not plastic. I might put the new belt in. Uh, when I won this machine, I went on eBay to have a look for belts and brushes for this machine. So um, I do have some. I have a feeling that this belt is also the same as the belt for Moulin X Major. So if you can't find a Hoover Starlight or Junior Deluxe belt, if you look for Moulin X Major belt, I have, a, I have a feeling they're compatible. But yeah, I think it, I might put the belt on. I'm just gonna slip it off the pulley. It's a bit hard to see. There we go. So that's the belt off, and then we can pull out the agitator. The Hoover beats as it sweeps as it cleans agitator. Yeah, that's not bad. Listen. That sounds very smooth. The brushes, I, I wouldn't say they need replacing at the moment either. They're pretty long. Beta bar's got a little bit of grime on, but I'll just give those a wipe before I try it on my carpet. There might be a little bit of fluff. No, those end caps, that's pretty clean. A little bit of oil wouldn't go amiss. This cleaner probably hasn't been used for some time. I expect the seller switched it on. I mean, you can pull the whole, there'll be a metal shaft in here. I won't pull it out. It's a bit stiff, but this whole, this whole end will come off revealing a metal shaft. But yeah, a little bit of fluff in there, but crikey. Nothing you'd expect from, you know, a machine this age, you'd expect to find a lot more dirt in it but that that's very good so I expect this is an original belt yes does say Hoover on it very faintly so I will check it uh, with the belts I got delivered this week um, but yeah I expect that stretched there's a clean out port here it should lift up indeed it does when I eventually get around to refurbishing this, just round here, there's a little strip, or a sort of a sealant. I'll be able to get something similar just to put round to sort of give it a bit more of a seal. It's not gonna make a huge difference to the performance of this 70s cleaner. So yeah, it's very, very clean. Just a bit of fluff and dust. So what I'll do, I'll pop upstairs, I'll go and get which hopefully is the correct replacement belt. They're not genuine, but it should fit this machine. Just quickly clean out this with another vacuum and pop a belt on and then we'll switch on this Hoover Junior Deluxe. Let's hope it sounds as good as it looks. I've given the agitator a bit of a clean, just again with T-cut. Some metal polish would do a better job of the beta bars, but you can see they're a lot cleaner than they were a few minutes ago but I can get those even better the same with the base plate I've just done a little bit of tea cut on it a proper metal polish on that and 10 minutes and that will look even better so here's the belt and here's the replacement 
So I think it will fit. Yes, it's a, it's ever so slightly wider, but hardly a, a millimeter. So yeah, let's try and stretch it over the motor spindle. Okay, I'll just uh, slip the belt over the spindle. I think that's the best way of doing it. And then slipping it over the agitator. So I need to line up the uh, agitator end with a little cut out that side and that side's gone in right rotate it make sure it's uh, running smoothly which it is then I can pop the base plate back on locate it under the metal tabs at the front first and then close the other clips two clips here nearly that's a bit tricky get your finger in that there we are right that's a new belt fitted i think we're ready now to turn on this hoover junior deluxe and see if it works Well, I'm really happy with the performance of this Hoover Junior Deluxe. I always thought they were a little bit mediocre, but perhaps I just needed a new belt and a fleece bag. The H18 bags, the fleece ones, the For Your Home, do fit, because I've just put one in. It's quite roomy, it's a bit overkill, but the airflow is better and you're not going to get the pores blocked like you would with a regular paper bag. It's certainly better than a genuine Hoover bag 
that would have been supplied with this cleaner. I'm quite warm in this Christmas jumper and I think the heating's on so perhaps we've won the lottery. I don't know but I'm going to turn it off after I've filmed this because it shouldn't be on. We don't have heating on at the moment. We have blankets and hot water bottles. We can't afford heating. Right, well that's the end of this Christmas video. It is Christmas video. Look, Christmas. There, Christmas. So that's, that is it. That's my Christmas video for 2022 so it's a bit disappointing if you're expecting a big unboxing extravaganza on Christmas Day you're not going to get it sorry about that but with the cost of living people can't afford to send me vacuum cleaners to unbox so never mind maybe next year things will be better and who knows I might even bring back my advent videos next year fingers crossed I've got a lot coming up early in the new year I'm having a new ensuite put in, I'm getting new flooring, new carpeting, and possibly even, yes, I might be replacing the mistake I made with the living room carpet. But um, I'm really researching um, thoroughly before I fork out the money. And uh, we're going to a local firm this time, not going to carpet right, never gonna use them again. So we're going to a local firm who knows that I test vacuum cleaners on YouTube. So, um, they're lending me or giving me some remnants, some offcuts of the carpet I'm interested in just to see if it's going to work well with all types of vacuum because although this Hoover Starlight works very well on this carpet a lot of the modern cleaners, if you've watched my channel for a while you'll know that they don't, they cut out, especially cordless machines you go anything above the low setting or the eco setting and the brush roller just beds down into the carpet and cuts out and it happens with lots of soft carpets so um, I'm going to be trying out vacuums on carpet samples before you know I take the plunge and order a new carpet for here but the rest of the house as well at some time next year we'll be getting carpeted new carpets new hard floors in some of the rooms as well so there'll be new surfaces for me to demonstrate on and I know I've had another there's another Hoover I've done quite a lot of Hoover videos of late just because I had quite a lot of Hoover videos already done and I just happened to get this machine but there will be other brands obviously coming up I've got some Sibos coming up I'll be doing a demo of that Samsung Jet I've got all sorts of different brands so don't worry it won't be so many vintage Hoovers next year but you'll always see vintage Hoovers on my channel because they are my favorite vintage brand so that's it May I take this opportunity to wish all my viewers, old and new, a very, very Merry Christmas and a happy 2023. The last two years or so have been a bit crazy for me and for many people. If you haven't been affected by what's been going on the last couple of years, then you must have been living in a cave. But um, we can only hope that things will get better for all of us next year. So we'll pray for that thank you for watching thank you for all your support whether you've subscribed to me from day one or you've just found my videos if you want to support me a little bit more you can always go to my other channel Roger's Bits and Doings I've just passed 5,000 subscribers on that channel so it's only a teeny weeny channel compared to this one but I have been doing quite a lot of Christmassy things on that channel it's more of a vlogging lifestyle channel the odd vacuum makes an appearance on that channel but it's, it's all sorts of different things. Things that I get up to when I'm not demonstrating vacuums. I do have a life outside vacuum cleaners, although not much of one, <laughs> but uh, I do love my vacuums. So thank you everyone yet again. Enjoy yourself. Don't eat or drink too much. Just have a peaceful and happy Christmas and a really great 2023. So until the next video, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now. You are invited to the Hoover Television Home. Come in and meet your Hoover Home Consultant. I must just finish this. My family will soon be back from carol singing. It's rather wonderful to think that all over the world tonight, 
Millions of people are getting their homes ready for Christmas. Adding those little extra touches that give a sort of warmth of welcome to everyone. In every home, Christmas trees will be decorated with gifts of happiness. Many of these gifts will be our own Hoover products. And we're very proud to think of the important part these gifts will play in helping to bring happiness to so many homes, now and for years to come. Thank you so much for all your good wishes. Now I think I hear my band of carolers. So, from the Hoover Television Home, and from all of us at Hoover, to you in your home, the very merriest Christmas ever, and a happy new year. Today, and every day, it's...